one day I was supposed to be going with my dad to work, um, and it just happened that he was, I think he was leaving at like four in the morning, and I decided not to go. And um, that day, uh, at like maybe 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock-ish, uh, uh, the Bible worker from Valley Crossroads knocked on the door and asked if I want a Bible study, and I was like, yeah, sure. And his name is Brother Nelson? Yeah, okay. Nelson Jones. And uh, on my same, same last name, so you yeah. know. Um, uh, we, uh, you know, so we had Bible studies, and he started. He showed up unannounced, knocked on your door, yeah, and said, "Do you want a Bible to study?" Yeah, totally. I, it was a surprise, and like <laughs> if I if I had gone to work with my dad, I, it would have happened later, or mm -hmm. who knows. But uh, it just happened that I didn't, and so um, we he started showing me things in the Bible, and you know, we did we did several Bible studies, and he was just like. He was going over things that, you know, the Seventh-day Adventist know mm -hmm. uh, very confidently. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, wow, this is, this seems, this makes so much, this, this makes so much more sense. This seems so much more like God than a lot of the messages that I've been learning for 12 years in Christian mm -hmm. school. And, you know, I, 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 not to say anything bad about my Christian school, I loved going there and I learned, I, I'm, I'm thank I, I'm extremely thankful for the base knowledge that mm -hmm. I have on just stories and Bible. concepts, and I definitely. And then also, I get a, a perspective coming from that. It's not. Um, I'm sure that it's different for people that grow up in the Adventist Church, having never known what the full truth was, mm -hmm. and just. Um, you're like learning <coughs> it for the first time. Oh, you're exactly. learning all this. It's like you're, you know, and you're I, soaking it up. I totally am, and I, you know, I felt like I'm probably learned. I, I, 100%, I've learned more about God and experienced God phenomenally more than I have in my entire life just over the last few months. Wow. And, um... When did you make your decision for baptism? Because you did get baptized yeah, recently. Yeah, I, um, I got... It happened that, um, my, my, my dad's sisters were in town for my graduation. From high school. And my, uh, I think my, my grandpa, family members were in mm -hmm. town. And my graduation from high school was kind of happened, uh, it, it, you know, it happened that people were coming in for my graduation. And at the same time, there was this kind of a, uh, a revival kind of a meeting going on at the, uh, at the church where Helvius Thompson was, was speaking. I think he's from, uh, from maybe Houston, um, Texas. And uh, he was speaking. And so we were having, we had like services every night, I think it was. And so it was a Friday night, and the next Saturday uh, was my graduation. And Friday night, I decided I, it was it was basically everything had lined up to where I, I was able to get baptized that night. Did and your family come and watch you get baptized? Yeah, I invited I invited <laughs> everyone that I could think to invite, and the people that I forgot, I felt so bad that I didn't <laughs> invite them because you know it's one of the, it's one of those things that I feel like it's it's a, it's a powerful thing. A pivotal moment, especially since people that know me know me entire life and even go to Christian school come and see me get back. I don't know like it was it was it was powerful it was a powerful time and um, a, a friend of mine who I had met maybe a few months before uh, got baptized with me and it oh, just cool. it, it it happened kind of uh, he didn't know that I was getting baptized and he made his stand like a couple weeks before wow. or a week before maybe and then we got baptized on the same night and uh, that was that was really really awesome it was just, it was just really interesting because this I had met I had met him only like honestly like maybe a few months before and he was he was you know uh same kind of situation hungry for the truth and wanting to live the right way and do it right and so um that it was awesome an awesome experience and um been keeping the sabbath to a certain degree not pro not properly probably but um now I'm 100% I I sundown sundown friday sundown saturday um i you know i make sure make sure to uh keep it to the point because it's an absolute it's been a, it's been an absolute blessing in my life so you know just learning the truth is one of those things that i've that has it's it's so it's you know changed my life thoroughly and just you know given me like a whole new like wait like just every single day you know, no matter what happens in the day just it's just a great day you know because I uh, get to be a part of what's got what God is doing in this world which is which is just crazy that the creator of the universe even 
even as concerned, or as I'm allowed to, you know, I'm allowed to be a part of the work. Watch out, because a lot of people don't like to think about how deceptive the enemy is. That's right. It's way more, he's been doing this for a lot longer than any of us have been around. That's right. So, we can't play around. There's no, there's no playing around when it comes to uh, eternity. Let Christ, let Christ work in your life and uh, try and be a uh, filter for his love because there's, it's, otherwise, other, and, my, and for myself, if I'm not, if I'm not doing his work, I really, I don't want to, I, I might as well just die now. I might as well, you know, God could take me now. God could, even if I, you know, if I'm not doing, if I'm not, if I'm doing more harm than good, or if I'm doing any harm, I, I don't, I, I don't want to be here. I don't want to contribute to the enemy's plan. And, uh, it's just, it's, it's, it's one of those things, like, we can, if we're, if we're, if we're lukewarm, and if we, uh, you know, if we're behaving like the Laodiceans, you know, it might cause more, it, it is going to cause a lot more harm because people will see us and be like, oh, I can, I can be a Christian and be on a show like Two and a Half Men. I, you can't, you cannot be a true God-fearing person and be on a television show like that. Uh, I know I can't. I can, I'm not okay with what I'm learning, what the Bible says, and being on that television show. So, you know, just, it's, you go all or nothing. The name, the name of the game right now is, is compromise. Compromise, meet in the middle to get things done. That's what, that's the name of the game right now. And, uh, according to the Bible, when that happens, we're no longer standing for anything. We're no longer on the right on the on the in the, on the side of the truth because we've you know a little leaven leaven at the whole lump mm. and so you're either you're either hot or you're cold and then that's you know we're 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 in a we're in almost a period of the Laodicean church we really you know we need to pick our side now you need to pick your side you need to be a hundred percent on that you need to be a hundred percent or nothing at all. You might, as, you know, if you're gonna be for the world, be for the world. Don't try. Don't be doing so much harm, being half in and half out. You're harming yourself, and you're harming those others who might actually want to know the truth. So, uh, you know, choose you this day whom you will follow. Bible says in um, James chapter 4 and verse 4, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. Whosoever therefore shall be the friend of the world is the enemy of God. And what I really appreciate about Angus is that he's identifying with the fact that he cannot be a friend of the world. He's either going to serve God or serve this world. And he's, he's taking his stand. And you're going to see that more so even as the days go forward because I'm thoroughly convicted that I'm with the brother that the Spirit of God is clearly leading. And you're going to see that in the very near future. He's taken his stand on the right. He's walked away from it. You need to make a decision. What are you going to do? Yeah. Um, there might be somebody listening now that really identifies with you. They have maybe watched you grow up. Maybe they're your age look at the camera and just um, appeal to them to maybe make a decision for Jesus. Um, what I have to say to uh, anyone that's kind of in the in the middle ground right now and then in the, the valley of decision as some people put it, uh, I would have to say that you really and this is one thing that the pastor has been teaching on lately is you really you can learn about God you can learn about God all you want. There's people that study theology all the time. You can learn everything about you can, You can figure out the for sure thing, like, did this person really exist? How did this happen? If, this, if the scientists say this, then how could this? It, you're not, you can learn about, about it all you want, but this Bible and this God is the truth, and you're not going to know for sure until you just 
throw yourself 100% into it and start experiencing it and applying the truth to your life because Jesus said he is the way, mm -hmm. the truth, and the life. And, um, you know, I can, I can testify to the fact that this is the life. There's yeah. honestly my life before this was no such, there's no life. And um, yeah. I'm just, uh, I would I say that uh, it's, it's the greatest, the greatest feeling ever to not have to worry about a thing, not knowing that you're going to be taken care of, and the things of this world are, don't matter whatsoever. So you just got to be, be in that, be in God so that He can uh, use you to bring people to Him, because that's really what it's all about at the end of the day is making people know God the way you know them, because I know from my personal life, I want everyone everyone to know how awesome he is and how <laughs> comforting it is to be uh, be a part of his kingdom work and uh, eventually one day get to see him in person. Amen.